Today, we're going to be diving into Miro's new feature, Talk Track. We're going to be exploring how it works and a little bit more about it. This is part of our paid collaboration with Miro as part of our feature spotlight series. So we're going to guide you through how you can use Talk Track to essentially record your Miro board and send it to other people so that you can asynchronously collaborate, explain something and be able to really just brief another person that may be remote or in a different time zone or just want to respond in their own time. So here's a little bit more about Talk Track. So here we are with Miro's Talk Track, and this is currently in beta, but offers a way to add layer to recordings and naturally a way to see into what Miro and uh, how you've prepared each of your spaces. So as you can see here, I have set up Talk Track on the side, and you can see it up here as an option now. And uh, naturally, it will be rolling out to most people. So this is what is the setup in advance. So this is me, and uh, I can get and turn off it off the option and actually reset it to another camera, or turn the microphone off or change the audio. Now the goal of a talk track is to essentially record something asynchronously, and this is great for visualizing something and be able to send it quite rapidly. Um, if you don't have the technology and you want to keep it all in Miro. So here we go. Let's hit record a um, talk track. And as you can see, I am up in the top right hand corner already and I can move myself around if I did want to, maybe to the central part of the camera so I'm looking at it. And as you can see, the recording has started in the top right hand corner. Now this is really neat because I can basically give you a guided tour of the experience and why I added certain things and I can even go through the frames I want to add to, and I can see the activities that were essentially, um, well, that's part of the business and the enterprise plan, but essentially all the activities that it went through. Um, so you can see a sort of granularly detail on what's happening. Now I can jump back to certain sections and I can actually present them, and I can see um, the activity here to see um, what was added to the board history, which might give me a bit more context to who added what. You could be like, okay, oh, I remember John added this to the Ask the User area so that we could get a better perspective about what the user wants uh, in a bit detail. And you can also see the version history too. So that's helpful from that side. I can skip to the presentation function that I just did there, and I can use the pinch to zoom on Mac at least to go into certain areas and be able to have that all set up. Now, if I did want to break and I wanted to improve something, I could hit record pause and then naturally start again if I wanted um, to be able to get a moment's break or something like that. But this is a great way to be able to just um, set things up um, without having to issue. You can also restart and delete that version, but we're happy with this. And you can see on the right hand side, what pops up is a almost like a pre-menu of what the link is. And I can actually go ahead and play that. And you can see the full demonstration. Let's just turn the audio off. But you can see my icon following me about there. And you can even add sticky notes to this afterwards and comments as well and emojis, which means you can interact in a much uh, more detailed level. And of course, you can use this with other people too. You can see the playback speed if you want to speed it up and make your person talk much faster. And you can go into details like renaming it. So if I wanted to call it user feedback, and I can also copy the link here. Now copying the link is quite helpful because I can, I can send it to somebody else and they can view it pretty instantaneously. And I can view it here and change all the details for myself. I can just toggle that on, toggle that off, and see any talk track that I have done across the day. So this is really helpful for saving a bit of time and trying to basically um, bring it all into one location and communicate with team members. You could, for example, um, be like, uh, leave a comment here and be like, um, I explain what this is in this video. And... Uh, that's up to them to watch it and it's a great way for them to just click in and be able to see the full recording pretty instantly. You can then at mention people, give it another color and those people will know, right, I get to watch this recording in Miro and basically get an idea for everything that is in TalkTrack. So that's an overview of this feature. 
Uh, and of course, it's in beta, so you can naturally expect it to roll out. And I'll include some information about the launch details so you can find out more about the feature in, in much more depth. Uh, in the link in description below. So thanks again to Miri for sponsoring today's feature and hopefully gave you an idea of what TalkTrack does and a little bit more about it. Mm -hmm.